guys, I hope you're well. Um, so in the coil pop video, I mentioned briefly that uh, I could show you how to wedge. Um, and that is the name for when we take all the little bits of clay that we might have um, made and then we wedge them all together um, so that we get rid of any air that's between all those pieces. Um, because you might end up with lots of little bits um, at home um, after you've kind of made something. So the first thing you want to do is get all your small bits and squeeze them together and then hit them together like this to make a kind of ball shape. So this is helping to get the air out right now. And then what we need to do is stand up, we're cupping the clay ball either side with two hands. You want to be standing so that you're in um, a position with your left leg or right leg kind of forwards um, in front of the other leg. So that means that you can really um, get some force behind your pushing. And you're going to push down with this bit of your hands. Um, towards the table and then you'll see two shapes in the clay of these two bits of your hands and then you're going to pick up your piece of clay so that this section which was flat on the board comes up to point at the ceiling and then you're going to put your hands on top again still using these bits of your hands and you're going to push down again in a swooping diagonal motion towards the table. And again, you can see these two shapes, which are the impressions um, of this bit of my hand. And I'm then going to move this bit of clay so that it comes up to the ceiling again. And I put my hands on top again, and I press down again. And I continue doing that, so I bring it back up to point to the ceiling, I push back down, I bring it back up, I push back down, and what you'll see here is you can see these layers beginning to occur, and we like these because they show us that the air is coming out in between each of those layers. And we're going to carry on going, and you can get a bit of a rhythm going, which is quite good. You do want to be doing this on a wooden surface, so hopefully you've got a wooden kitchen table. If you try and do it on um, something plastic, it's just all going to get stuck. Okay, so this is quite good now. You can also sometimes see a bit of a spiral going on on the ends, and it's called monkey face because it looks a little bit like a monkey's face. So you just want to carry on going. for a while and it really just is practice and once you feel a bit tired you can check how it looks so if you take a knife and cut through the middle then you'll be able to see if there's any air bubbles in there and actually you can see one here and one there, so that means I need to carry on kneading. So I'm going to hit them together again. Get it back into a kind of ball shape and begin again. And you want to keep going until when you cut through it there's no air bubbles to be seen. Lovely. So now there's absolutely no air bubbles in here, so you can use this clay again, which is great. The reason we don't want any air bubbles is that when it goes in the kiln, the clay, 
the air in the air bubble can expand quicker than the clay around it and that means that um, your object could crack in the kiln but that's not always the case so hopefully everything will be alright okie dokie so I hope you can give that a go cool bye